Do you still overclock your machines? Is the time investment worth it? Um, no, nah, I don't even know if... Because overclocking, do you need to? I feel like hardware is so good today. I don't even know if you need to overclock your shit. The time cues for it, I might as well throw it on there. Oh, is there a good friend talking about this again? This too good not to throw up. So. Your opinion on something. This isn't a fight. This is like mm -hmm. an anecdote. Okay. Oh my God. He's probably rock hard on this. I already can t I can already predict the entire segment. Um, Farha, a woman that does OnlyFans, is shocked that somebody might not be accepting of her history. Um, and now she's trying to do the classic um, OnlyFans girl move of trying to um, uh, of trying to date a conservative man after being tired of Libcucks. And you know, even though her past is going to make it impossible to do so, it's going to be some shit like this. Okay. So yesterday. I went on a date. Mm -hmm. Pay attention. Okay. It's Tradcon boy. I think Ferris kind of like to destiny, like what Porsche is to me. Like, ah, let me tell you, I'm important. Pay attention. Okay. We got lunch for like five hours. Okay. And then we went to the beach mm -hmm. and hung out in the sand. I can tell you have a nice time. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't ask me if I feel weird about being too brown or like if I. Nice. That's good. Cool. Just oh, I'm supposed to for sell Islamic that. everything on you. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. So, anyways. Whoops. I think Destiny's a little possessive of her. By the way, I, I did, you, you can stop sending me this link now. I did see the one. Destiny? Did he say I'm a little possessive? Go ahead. Yeah. So, anyways. <laughs> I think Destiny's a little possessive of her. By the way, I I did. You, you can stop sending me this link now. I did okay. see the one uh, clip where he was he admitted to texting her on the whatever podcast while we were on. So I, what's funny to me is I've seen her on other shows and she's been like sort of t been taking a task. I think she was on with like texting her on the whatever podcast when we. Oh yeah, I think I texted her. Wait, when I was on, I think I texted once because I was curious if that was really her who donated. Is he implying something else? Is he implying that I was texting her while she was on? Because I don't believe that was true. I don't think I was even watching while she was on. I think I might have been streaming the whole time. Alex from Playing With Fire or something like that, but she was getting like grilled by some guy talking about like women's rights and men's rights and stuff. And I could tell she was typing or she was on, she was on her phone, but she was also like typing and stuff. And I could tell that she was just getting like, like one-liners from, from Destiny. Um, I don't, I have never in my life done that with Farha. Texted her one-liners on shows. I don't think I've ever done that in my life. But he might think that I do it because he did it with Pearl. That's basically confirmed. That's what she said on stream. You texted her about unequal relationships. I might have sent her a message about it after, but I don't think I was watching. I don't think I was watching this debate live because she told me not to watch it live. And then she was, um, and I, and I, I caught some of it afterwards because I was streaming while this was going on. Dude, man, just don't, don't, don't get your chicks. It's like, it's like Charlie's Angels, right? It's like Destiny's Angels. Okay, yeah, you can prepare them a little bit better. Everything's going perfectly. I love tradcons, because mm -hmm. I actually know how to like- I hate, this is the one, the most difficult way for me to navigate this space when we talk about like women or whatever, I hate the way these guys view women. It, unironically, it is actually, in my personal opinion, fucking disgusting how, like I'm sewing out a little bit on like the objectification or whatever, but like women are literally like playing cards that these guys like trade around and treat like property. It is, I don't talk about it much cause I'm not usually in places where people actually act like this, but it is so fucking disgusting. It is so gross to me. Um, ugh, like somebody didn't raise you right. Jesus. Date and mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. And we're hanging out on the beach and he's like talking, I'm like, we're really vibing. Like okay. this was probably like one of the best days of my life. Okay. And we're vibing. And he's talking about how much he hates the industry and how uh -oh. he's like very against Whenever a woman says vibing, what that means is like your game's on point. Like w women will use the term vibing or energy because it's a it's a placeholder term for like things that they, they feel but they can't describe. Yeah, that's why it's called a vibe, you fucking retard. That's what a vibe is. It's like a feeling or an emotion. <laughs> like what? Like yeah, no shit. The red pill can describe those feelings for you. Just you can you can learn to vibe, but like she's gonna be in the moment and call it vibing right then. And I was like, yeah, me too, uh, because I forgot that I'm like a prostitute. Okay. So then I got really stressed. Um, because well, I'm he a wanted to kiss me to tell that like if I told him the OnlyFans thing, I, I thought it'd be a huge turnoff, but I thought it'd be like if I kissed him without telling him, okay. since he's so against the industry. Mm -hmm. So I came clean. I clean about his whole opinion? Um, so I shoehorned it into conversation and I was like, I forgot how it came up. I was talking about living in LA and I was like, yeah, and then I started an OnlyFans. All right, I'm going to push this up to the relevant point right here, which I believe is about the four minute mark. <laughs> this is actually the whole reason. Like, should I just delete my account right now? Which is probably the dumbest thought I've ever had, so I don't think I'll be drinking anymore. Okay. Unless it's a rise, but, um... Then I was like, Did you guys catch that? On SSRIs. You're drinking on, on antidepressants. Mmm. That confirms a lot of rumors. The first day with someone, I don't know if they even care. Wait, what rumors does that confirm? <laughs> what? Wait, what? Can somebody explain what the implications are?
but I just felt like I heard Rolo Tomasi in my head, like when he said to me on the podcast, like, do you think you having an OnlyFans hey, is better than the guy you did eventually want to have sex with? And like, when he said that, I thought that was ridiculous because I started my OF in LA and nobody there cares. Mm -hmm. Okay. Say you know? my name. Would you agree? Um, I don't know. There's a lot of... There's a lot of stuff going on, but keep, just keep talking. I'm listening. There's a lot of stuff going on? Yeah. All right, so that was one point. Anyways, later on, she, she talks about this. And essentially, the, the the hypothetical that I threw out at her on, on whatever podcast came to pass. Wow, imagine. Daddy Rolo was right about something, Farah. At least you've got lenses in your glasses right now, but I know that they're not prescription. <laughs> I hate being right all the time. I hate being right all the time. Yeah. God, his, his bass boot is so much on the microphone. He's so insecure. Not so crazy now, huh? Not that hypergamy shit? Not so crazy now when you see it in, in, uh, in, in action. Hey, Echo, how are you? Hi, lover. Where's my girl? Where's my girl? Hey. Um, yeah. Wait, how is this even hypergamy? Is he even, like, hitting his right talking points? Wouldn't it only be hypergamy if we knew that the guy was, like, wealthier than Farah? What, did she even say that? Uh, uh, yeah, well, so I think what was ironic about this whole thing is, like, I'm getting all this bullshit, like, oh, he doesn't give you, he didn't give me any any research or anything. I give him, like, tons of research. It's just, like, he just posts every time with, with every new thing. And I'm, I'm basically done with it because there's no Dude, point. Rolo did not give me any research, by the way. His whole Alpha Fox Beta Bucks thing was completely and totally dismantled by me live in 4K, worldwide, high def, max bandwidth, live stream on YouTube, live stream on Rumble, archive in VOD, whole world watching. Uh, that was, sorry, ship has sailed on that one. And it happened again on Twitter while I was fucking tripping balls on LSD. The same thing happened again. Um, the whole foundation for his ideology has no, like, no basis in research whatsoever. And having that conversation. Uh, it's just disingenuous and dishonest to begin with, but I think it's ironic, and I think you're probably gonna see more of this happen in the future, especially even just bringing my name up <laughs> on that on his show about that. I think Rolo was right, <laughs> really? Because um, yes, I know she. Okay, I'll just I'll spill the beans. I'm not gonna say I know how I know, but I'll I'll say I know that uh, she had something going for Justin Waller for a while, right after that show. Um, but uh, I I would be wary of that girl, like just. I don't know. Can I? I want to blow this up. Sorry. Ah, fuck. No, I shouldn't. <sighs> I don't want to. I don't want to make her shit public. Here's what I'll say: What Rello is presenting here is in completely backwards because I've seen all those texts, and he's totally lying. The sad thing is, is that these red pill guys will pretend that they're getting more action than they even are just for like clout with their fucking friends. It's actually so sad because I wouldn't expect that these guys would need to do it. Like, aren't you, are you not fucking at all? Like, are you actually this sad or pathetic that you're, like, showing, like, one message to a friend to try to prove that some shit is happening that's not? It's actually so stupid. Um, but it... I don't, yeah, I don't want to... Uh, you know, fuck. Actually, for the next Far Friday, whenever that is, remind me. Remind me of this interaction so I can see if Far wants to leak these texts. Because it's really fucking sad and funny. Um, b b because of how he tries to present these. Oh, give that girl a wide berth, because... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, stay away. Don't put your dick in crazy. Uh, so anyways, that's that's that. I, I The reason I'm tagging that on to the end of the Today Show is that, well, first of all, it's right. Thanks. Uh, but second of all, um, it's a proof of concept. I mean, Alpha Fuck made the bucks, right? Well, why, what was the whole point of me even explaining that? I was trying to say that women with high body counts, women with OnlyFans, women with a digital footprint will tend to be less desirable for long-term relationships with guys who women really want to get with. Like the guy's like, oh, he's perfect. I fell in love with him over the course of five hours, even though I had five Prosecco's and I'm on SSRIs, but I fell in love with him. <laughs> Stay away. <laughs> like, uh, what did she say? She fell in love with him. She just said she really enjoyed the date and wanted to see him again. H are you okay, Rolo? Not a Christian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stay away. But um, but yeah, but but the whole point was that the reason why guys find that like they're a little hesitant to get with women who are bad bets for their own fraternity is because of hypergamy. It's because it goes right back to the micro part of hypergamy. It goes all the way back to oh, is this guy or, or even disqualification? Men. Okay, I don't even know if he knows what he's like. Um, what's the name of that guy? Walker? What red pillar do you think was the most difficult to debate against? Um, I don't know. Oh yeah, true. Does Rolo go over the part where ultimately the guy... Oh, you know what? That's a fucking... That's, a, that's actually a key part of that story that's really important. And it shows that my understanding of life is better than their understandings of life. Because Rolo 
Rolo's ideology would actually make incorrect predictions, but my ideology would make correct predictions. Because Rolo was trying to say some shit at the end about like, oh, like high value men won't go blah, 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 blah. Do you remember when Farah asked me when she's like, well, what do you think happened? Or why are you laughing or whatever? Um, what do you think happened after showing my thing? And I said, my guess is he probably said, oh, you know what? Actually, I'm okay with this and it's not a big deal. That was my guess. And that's exactly what he did. But like, what does Rolo think would happen? The guy would say like, well, I'm too high value and I don't want to like mess around with somebody with lewds on an OnlyFans or whatever. Like that would have been Rolo's prediction and it would have been wrong. Okay, so fuck that guy. Oh, bro, that shit does a lot of damage. That wasn't your guess, loser. That was my guess. That was literally my guess. My guess is always that men will simp. <laughs> I know that. I've seen it happen enough. Did you not see the studies Rollo sent you? Ro the problem is Rollo doesn't understand what I'm asking for. None of the studies that he sent me mattered at all. Um, the... Um, the dual mating hypothesis implies that women will be fucking different guys at different parts of their cycle. That's what the dual mating hypothesis predicts. But the only thing they can prove is that people's attractions change based on their hormone levels. That is not proof of the dual mating hypothesis. That's it. Um, <clears throat> you mean you have done it enough, Lameo? I don't simp for any fucking girl. Fuck no. Um... But I don't, also, I don't have to. I'm like successful enough that I don't have to simp for people. And also I think in, in, for the way that I pick up women, I don't think women want me to simp anyway, because it's not like an attractive, um, it's not a very attractive quality, I don't think. What is simping to you? Uh, simping is when you like misrepresent your values in order to, um, in order to fuck somebody basically. You did admit to simping for Britney Simon during the bridge burning regarding cleaning up specifically. I did not admit to simping, and I didn't simp for her. What I said was there's a whole bunch of fucking misogyny related to Britney Simon and Lab, which is still true, by the way. But two things can be true at once, right? That like somebody does legitimately say dumb things, but also somebody is, um, but also the separate is being misogynistic. That's a that's a view that I maintain to this day, and it's also a view that's 100% fucking true. 